Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Side News. I'm Joe Borek, and this is going to be a quick video on the retiree now, the legendary Hall of Fame career of Ryan Getzlaff. Yes, that's right. I do think he will be stamped in the Hall of Fame. He was almost a career points per game player, and in his prime, finishing his career with a plus 102. With an Corsi 4 of 52.3, an Ozone efficiency of 49.4, almost 50 there. Absolutely fantastic in both zones player during his mid-20s and early 30s in the peaks of his career. Always was a guy that you never wanted to round and pound them with either. Could beat the living crap out of anybody and then go down in his prime with the silky mitts and size. Uh, be able to get it done at 6'4 and about 215 to 220 was his playing rate in his career. But, of course, he's been to the All-Star Games uh, multiple times. He's been the top 10 in Selkie. He's really received multiple Selkie votes. He's never got one. I think he should have been kind of more regarded in terms of a great two-way talent than maybe he even was uh, with the Kopitars of the land and all that during his prime time of age 27 to 32 and all that when he was really in the Selkie races. Uh, when he even hit a Selkie voting uh, thir top 13 in his age 22 season, and then age 23 season, he was top 25. So he's been mentioned in it his entire career. So this man was a hell of a two-way commodity, had silky mitts at that size. Um, a guy that I'm not going to give this high a praise on yet, obviously he has a hell of a lot of room to still grow to become Ryan Getzlaff. But a guy that's impressed me this year as even two inches bigger at 6'6", that has good mitts and is able to do it in both zones, but is still growing and is also still only the young 23, 24 age where Getzlaff wasn't Getzlaff yet. He became that, as I just said, his mid-20 is Tage Thompson. That kind of, I wouldn't be surprised if I got the pleasure of eventually covering hockey for Flyers and Gritty and now doing it for other blocks I like Steel Flyers as well of ever getting to talk to him. I feel like he, he could have been a guy that he emulated some and kind of used as an inspirational player growing up just because you kind of see not awesome. No one's ever going to be the next Ryan Getzlaff. This dude was a unicorn of how he was able to do it for all these years, but kind of has some similarities there. But Getzlaff as a whole, great two-way player, great round and pounding. Guy that was good in the old school, had to take the hits era still of the earlier 2000s up until about the 13, 14-ish season. And then the newer era of having more and more and more silky mitt skill that Yager talked about when he was on TV before of liking that more old school round and pound era. So it doesn't, which that's not important right now, but the key is Getzlaff was so brilliant in both of them and still continued brilliant seasons to round out his career of having uh, 60 some point seasons, 70 some point seasons, even as he was, of course, entering his 30s, like he had 73 points. At age 31, and then even finished when he had longer seasons of 60 or more games, almost at 50 points uh, in the final few years at age 33, 34. And then in his age 35 season, it wasn't too great last year, but last year was kind of a crapshoot of a season for everybody, and it was weird during the COVID pandemic. This year, in more normality, he's not he's not able to keep up with guys anymore, so obviously he doesn't have the defensive numbers of old. But um, he is a guy that was still able to pass it really well, got the 34 assists, was able to add three to the tally marker as well, goals-wise. But you could see he's still a very smart and sexual player, was able to find ways to get it done, and especially be around to mentor the young kids, like the Trevor Zegerses of the world, the Milanos and more coming into that Ducks organization and really getting going. I don't think it was just the chemistry with Z. I think it was also the fact that you have the Getch laps of the world in that organization that can really get a guy going and show him the ropes of how to get going at the NHL level. But this has been just a quick about four-minute and 30-second video on Ryan Getzlaff and him retiring. One of my favorite players to watch during his run. Got to be a great two-way player, a big boy that was fun to watch when he was able to round and pound them and fight guys as well. Silky Mitch during his prime, great two-way player during his prime. And wrapped up his career still being a successful offensive player till the end and kind of has got to go out in his own graces. Wasn't successfully great in the COVID year, but then this year did round out in a good assist season, good instinctual, looked very smart on the ice in the 56 games he played. Just you know he's losing a step and gets to go out still at a pretty good, I would say, B- minus to B level player. Um, that uh, he was able to go out on after rebounding this year. He just doesn't have the legs and skating speed anymore, which is to be expected for a guy that played at that style all those years now at the age of 36. That was never a burner anyway. He was more of a guy that picked up ground with his strides. 
that's to be expected. But hell of a career for Ryan Getschlaff. Stay safe out there, everybody. Please just subscribe down below. Up above in the easy to use widget to keep the channel growing to 230 or more. A goal by the end of April. Hats off to Getschlaff on a hell of a career. Peace out, everybody.